How does a tree work? What is needed to help the tree grow? And how do the different parts of a tree work together to keep it alive? Is this an English lesson? Absolutely. Let me explain. Here's a tree, or imagine a tree. Now let's break the tree down into parts. There are roots, and there's a big trunk in the middle, and branches and twigs coming out of the branches, leaves and maybe apples growing on the tree. What does a tree need to grow and stay alive? A tree needs water, it needs sunlight, and it needs carbon dioxide so that it can grow and stay alive. Just like in English, if we want to learn English, we need to read, we need to practice writing, and we need to practice speaking. Now the different and separate parts of a tree are the same thing as the different and separate, and separate parts of speech. For a tree to look the way it does, we need to put a lot of its parts together. To make sentences and paragraphs, we need to put different types of words together. So hello to all my friends studying English. My name is Sarah with TalkToCanada.com and today I want to talk to you about the English parts of speech. What does that mean, parts of speech? Let me tell you. Parts of speech are different types of words that make up our sentences and help us express our feelings, ideas, thoughts, and other types of information. There are eight different parts of speech in English, and they're called nouns, adjectives, pronouns, verbs, adverbs, prepositions, conjunctions, and interjections. Phew, that's a long list. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about each of these different parts. We'll start with a noun. A noun is a word that names a person, place, or thing. An example of that is school. School is a noun. I'll give you a sentence. You tell me where the noun is. The boy goes to school every day. Where do you think the noun is? Boy and school. Very good. All right, next in line we have a pronoun. A pronoun is very similar to a noun. A pronoun is a word that replaces a noun. Some examples of that uh, are he, she, and it. She. So I'll give you a sentence. He likes it better when it is cooked. Where do you think the pronouns are? He and it. Very good. Next, we're going to talk about an adjective. And an adjective is also very closely related to the noun. An adjective is a word that gives more information about a noun or a pronoun. So adjectives include uh, colors, sizes, and shapes. An example of that is little. So I'll give you a sentence and you tell me where the adjective is. The little girl went into the yellow bus. Hmm, what do you think? The answer is little and yellow. Both these words tell you more information about a noun. Very good. Next I'll talk to you a little bit about a verb. A verb is a word that is used to show an action or a state of being. So eat is a verb, run is a verb, talk is a verb. I'll give you an example of it in a sentence. They walk to school when it's sunny. Where do you think the verb is? Perfect, it's walk. Let's pretend you got that right. All right, <laughs> adverb. Adverb is a word that modifies a verb, uh, an adjective, and it can actually also modify another adverb. And it can show the extent of something. So an adverb does a lot of things. Uh, an example of an adverb is happily, uh, quickly, sometimes, often, never. So I'll give you a sentence. Emily often eats her vegetables happily. Where do you think the adverb is? Emily often eats her vegetables happily. There are two, often and happily. Very good. Next, we'll talk about um, an interjection. An interjection is a word that expresses a feeling. So an example of that is, uh-oh, somebody's in trouble. Or maybe, yuck, that's disgusting when you feel disgusted. Or, wow, when you're surprised. That's an interjection. I use a lot of interjections. It's my favorite part of speech. Next, we'll talk a little bit about a preposition. 
A proposition is a word that shows the relationship between a noun or a pronoun and another word. So an example of a proposition is in or on or between. I'll give you a sentence. The cookie is in the jar. Where do you think the proposition is? Yeah, you guessed it right. In. Very good. And the last one we're going to talk about is a conjunction. A conjunction is a word that connects words or groups of words together. So that an example of that is but, and, and or. Um, those are words that connect other words together. I'll give you a sentence. I like reading and I like writing, but I don't like math. Where do you think the conjunction is? I like reading and I like writing, but I don't like math. So we have and and but. Very good. So those are all the parts of speech in English. I hope you learned something today. My name is Sarah with TalkToCanada.com uh, and I hope you continue watching all of my videos. Thank you very much.